And finally, for today's episode, let's turn to Michael Yunker for a look at Adventist history. This week, we hear about the start of the Argentina Food Factory. This week in Adventist history, we wish to gaze back in time to the origins of the Argentina Food Factory, or Alimentos Granix, near Buenos Aires, Argentina. It was in late May and early June 1938, with the South American Division's authorization, that the plans were completed for the construction of a factory and for the purchase of equipment for the Argentina Food Factory, or also known as Alimentos Granix, or Granix. This represented the first serious business to promote the vegetarian food industry of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the territory of the South American Division. Its objective was and remains to promote health through the food industry, starting with the manufacture and commercialization of foods that correspond to the biblical ideal of integrated health. Although the idea had been around since at least 1936, it took some time for their plans to bake, becoming ready in May 1938. The first building was completed in July, the following uh, months there in 1938, with the entrance that had two 30 square meter rooms and a space for the factory that had 225 square meters of well illuminated and ventilated space. The factory soon began to operate and the production of wheat flakes, rice, corn, biscuits, peanut butter, and honey fractionation. Before the year was out, electricity and water access were added and a house was rented for the factory staff. In August, the transfer of the name Granix to the new factory in the town of Florida, Buenos Aires, was completed. George E. Norris, an expert from the food factory in England, was hired as the first director of the food factory in Buenos Aires. The official name of the company was registered as Alimentos Granix Sociedad Anonima Comercial e Industrial, or Granix Commercial and Industrial Stock Company. The first board of directors of this institution was formed with Walter E. Murray as president. It remains active today, and in April 2020, the Argentina Food Factory, perceiving the need to help others in need and those most affected by the pandemic caused by COVID-19, donated more than 55,000 tons of food merchandise. For more, check out the encyclopedia.adventist.org website and uh, learn more about the Granix company. That's this week in Adventist history. <music> 